From time to time, even if you are the most motivated, ambitious, and driven person, or even if you have been lately the most motivated, driven, ambitious version of yourself, there are always going to be times where you feel depressed and down and fatigued and like you can't get motivated. But having gone through many of these cycles in my life and still managing to having achieved some things, I thought I would share the two most useful pieces of advice that I've gotten on what to do when you're having a bad day. What's up you guys, it's Alex Hine here. So before we jump into this video, I've put together a free goal setting worksheet below the video. It's the first link in the description and what it is is if you're trying to figure out how to build the most incredible life possible, that free goal setting worksheet will help you plan out how to have the best year ever of your life and what actions you should be taking every day to actually make that happen. So check it out right below this video. Now, there are two paths you can go down, and I want to share both and stories about how you can utilize both to have the highest performance and the highest happiness in life. To me, when you're having one bad day, that doesn't mean anything. But if you're consistently having these bad days, then you really need to sit and pause. And the two options that I've noticed in my own life that help me the most are pause and redirect, i.e. listen, and the second is push through and carry on. So the first path that I think is very useful if you're having consistent bad days is to redirect, view it as a redirection. You know, in my last year of undergrad, I had always been passionate about environmental science, like wildlife biology and medicine. These were my two big passions in life. And I felt like I was at this crossroads. I didn't know which one to do. I didn't know which one would be the highest intersection of personal fulfillment and financial success, i.e. stability. Now, the last year of undergrad, Literally the last six months, I had a dream. And in this dream, I was at a medical school admissions uh, interview. And there was a woman there and a man there. And they asked me this famous question that's often asked, which is, why do you want to become a doctor or go to medical school? And I gave what I thought was this really deeply impassioned answer. I thought it was something that was really going to affect them emotionally, really sell them on me. And they both looked at each other like completely underwhelmed and unimpressed. And they said, are you sure that this is for you? And then I woke up. Now, this dream messed me up because six months before graduating college, I had been already planning to go to graduate school or do a post back to get prepared for medical school. And all of a sudden now I'm having this dream which instilled this weird deep doubt in me. As someone who doesn't ordinarily trust his dreams that much, this really affected me because it felt like a conversation with my subconscious. And instead of pushing through and just being like, go, 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 do it, I sat and I listened. And one of the first things I did to listen was instead of doing that, over the holiday vacation in the new year, I went to the Sahara Desert in Africa and I did a two-week vision quest where for six days I meditated without any food. And for two weeks I was traveling via camel caravan and I used that time to reflect. Now, the long story short was the listening there led me to go back to study medicine in a different way than I had originally intended years later when I was 29 and in a much, much more fulfilling way. So just like Steve Jobs said, anytime he sees himself waking up too many days in a row and he doesn't want to be doing what he's doing, he always pauses and reflects. Now, path number two, if you keep having bad days, is really to push forward and carry on. And I think I share both of these because in real life, you have to do both. You know, one of my mentors said to me, it's great if you learn to go with the flow, right? Because if the flow is going with you, then everything's a piece of cake. But in life, there are many times where the flow is going against you and you've got to be swimming upstream. And if you're only used to going with the flow, then what happens when it gets hard? You collapse. So what happens when you've started a new fitness plan and it's a Thursday and you don't want to do it? What happens when you went out too late last night and now you're tired at work, but one of your goals was to get a raise in your career? Or you want to be the best boyfriend or best significant other ever, and today you're just not feeling it. Your significant other, they're grumpy from their work or their lack of sleep. But your commitment was, I'm going to treat them well no matter what. It's undeniable that a lot of what makes life progress continually is discipline and is grit. So it's undeniable grit and discipline are doing what you said you would do long after you feel like not doing them. You know, if you're tired and you have a big test coming up, you still have to study if you want to get good grades. 
And the same is true of fitness and of doing the things you really want to be doing in life. Not every day you're going to want to do it. Sometimes it's the weather. Sometimes it's you're tired. Sometimes it's you had an argument. Sometimes you're ill. And how do you juggle these two things side by side? One point is push on and have grit. But the other part is really listen to what it is. Because sometimes when you're having a bad day, you're really on the wrong path. And sometimes when you're having a bad day, it's just a bad day. And it's not always easy to know if it's one thing or if it's the other thing. But for me, the thing that helps me the most is if it consistently happens, then it's probably time to stop and reevaluate the path you're on. And for me, one of the best ways to always make sure I'm holding off those bad days and I'm always excited and always thrilled about life is to be consistently investing in my own self-growth. And for me, the biggest investment is always into myself, my skills, my mindset, my personality, the things that I really want to learn. And one of my favorite services so far has been Skillshare that I've used for years now to learn actually how to improve myself from the tangible, like photography skills, to the self-growth aspects, mindset, confidence, leadership, even just the way that I think and my philosophy about life. So Skillshare has put together this awesome package for Modern Health Monk viewers, which is right below this video, the first link there. Check out all of the online learning communities and programs that Skillshare has with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics like illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more. So take, for example, this course called DIY Filming that I went through. It really helped me, number one, figure out how to really storyboard my video in a much more strategic way versus just being a teacher, as well as how to properly prep a short but sweet kind of highlight reel, as well as edit it, put it together, and really polish it to be a much, much better presented piece of content. So Skillshare has classes to fit your schedule and your skill level. Members get unlimited access to thousands of these different kinds of classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions of people. Now the classes are usually under an hour and they have short lessons to help you fit any schedule. Now the first 1,000 people to use the link or my code, Modern Health Monk, will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So check it out right on the screen there, you guys. Modern Health Monk. The first 1,000 people to use it will get that one month totally free trial. So it's definitely worth checking out because I love Skillshare. Check it out down there below. And then before you go, I have another video right here that can help you on this exact topic of feeling down or feeling lost.